We talked about it earlier today in my first video and surprise, surprise, the market ended up recovering. It wasn't anything crazy, but it's just insane to me that with everything going on, with not just banks showing signs of failure in the US, but now on the global side of thing with Credit Suisse, the second largest bank in Switzerland, you know, showing signs of failure, needing to borrow money, I think $54 billion uh, or $53 billion because their stock dropped over 30%. It's insane that the market still justifies trying to end in the green. And what exactly am I talking about? Let's go ahead and jump right into it. As you guys can see, again, I am using the Webull trading application. Uh, you do not have to. It is available and free for everyone in the US. And right now they do have a limited time promotion. That if you sign up with the fifth link in the description down below, you'll earn up to 12 free shares when you deposit $5 on your initial deposit. Uh, but let's talk about the overall NASDAQ market. We closed 0.5% in the green and then 0.1% in the green after market hours. So what exactly began to happen? I mean, uh, we saw this happening very early on um, as it began to consolidate um, you know, at that support of around 293 for QQQ. For those that are unaware, QQQ is a NASDAQ ETF. It goes one for one. So meaning that when NASDAQ moves 1%, then so does QQQ. Um, I mean, on the five minute time frame, it's very easy to see this overall reversal that it was forming with higher highs and higher lows. But if you really pay attention to what's going on today, right? Like how, how is the market justifying beginning to recover? But I wanna answer that for you. It's because of what all these headlines are talking about. All these news outlets are using the headline that it is to be expected that the next interest rate hike, I'm sure a lot of you guys are aware, let me go ahead and show you. This is straight from the federalreserve.gov website. This is under the news events and under the calendar section, right? My goal here on YouTube is to make sure that you are self-sufficient, that you don't have to depend on me. And again, this is a very useful resource and it's available and for free for everyone out there. So when is the next interest rate hike? Wednesday, March 22nd. They will be announcing their next interest rate hike uh, at 2 p.m. Eastern time. Why is this important? Well, it was originally expected because there was some economic data with uh, you know, the employment uh, rate and uh, when it comes down to overall home sales, uh, those were beginning to pick back up. Uh, and it's a very backwards way of thinking, but if inflation isn't where we want it to be, and those things are already beginning to pick back up. It's showing that inflation is becoming a little bit more sticky and maybe the Federal Reserve is going to have to be more aggressive than originally expected when raising interest rates. And right when we were like, okay, you know, if, if inflation does come in a little bit more sticky, the Federal Reserve will just raise interest rates and we'll be fine, right? Like, yeah, it'll, it'll hurt the market a little bit um, because it will tend to slow down the economy just a little bit, nothing crazy, right? But then we are throwing the curveball of the of these banks beginning to fail with Silicon Valley Bank and then Credit Suisse right over overseas. Now this is a whole different wave of risk because now the Federal Reserve has to take into consideration that if they continue to raise interest rates, more larger banks right Silicon Valley Bank was the sixteenth largest bank in the U.S. I mean, if, if you're talking about the difference in asset management, I mean, we're talking about five to six times to seven times larger is what JP Morgan is, Bank of America. And what happens if the Federal Reserve continues to increase interest rates, right? More than what's expected. And then those banks begin to fail. Imagine if JP Morgan, Bank of America, and all of those people that have money in there begin to pull that money out and those banks begin to fail, then we're going to have a much larger issue. And it's that ripple effect, right? That's what the Federal Reserve wanted to stop. So with the bailout of Silicon Valley, right, getting acquired, trying to get all the depositors money back and going back to business as usual, we were throwing another curveball last night today about the Credit Suisse company you know, uh, also having issues. The reason that the market is going up is because, because of how bad things are looking for the economy and for the banks, the Federal Reserve 
has to respect what's going on with the banks and understand that by raising interest rates, it might cause more harm than good. So they might have to pause their fight with inflation to focus and make sure that no more harm is done to these banks and putting them in a worse situation. Trust me, I agree with all of you. I, I've seen the frustration in the comment section because of our government, because of the Federal Reserve, because of what's going on with these banks. And it's because they were so aggressive and so greedy during a very bullish time that just like many other companies, they become overly leveraged and then they begin to fail. We talked about this yesterday and I'll say it again. A lot of these banks obviously have their you know, hands in Congress. And last week when Jerome Powell was testifying in front of Congress, a lot of these congressmen and women were suggesting that the Federal Reserve should have less, should have less restrictions for banks when it comes down to their deposits and what they have in reserves. And then just a couple days later, Silicon Valley Bank fails because they obviously lost more money than what they've been making. And yet they have the audacity to ask for less restrictions when already it's going to be people like you and I that if these banks need to get bailed out, it's people like you and I that normally have to pay for it, right? Because it's, it's taxpayers that pay for these bailouts normally, right? They, they caught the Silicon Valley bank bailout very quickly. So supposedly no taxpayer money was used according to Congress. And it was just a specific fund that banks pay into that was utilized that, you know, they will have to, you know, pay back supposedly, right? But if these banks do fail and then they do require a bailout, then of course the Federal Reserve will have to print more money. And who do you think, who do you think out of all people is the one that takes the hit? Well, if they print more money, that means our money becomes less valuable so we can make sure that they, who supposedly are supposed to be saving our money, now get more money because they were overly leveraged. It's like a, it's an insane thing uh, that because of someone else's consequence, people like you and I end up having to pay. But nonetheless, why is the market going up today? It is to be expected that the Federal Reserve will raise interest rates only 0.25% or nothing at all on March 22nd, 2023. You guys can let me know down in the comment section what you think. I think it's absolutely insane that we have to do this, but obviously it's the idea of for the greater good, right? Um, either banks will fail and then we all get hurt or we save the banks and we just get hurt a little bit less and the banks continue to do their thing. It's just kind of like a, a slap in the face, right? Um, I appreciate your time. I hope that I earned your thumbs up in this video. Just wanted you to understand why the market was rising today and what's to be expected. Hopefully we are not throwing any more curveballs about other banks failing, but if so, then just understand that things can get pretty choppy. So uh, very excited to follow up. I'll see all of you guys that are part of my Learn Plan Profit Group tomorrow at Market Open for our live trading session. And if you want to watch me trade live as soon as tomorrow, I work with one team and one team only. I offer nothing else. If you want to watch me trade live every single day it's the second link in the description down below it's a one-time payment lifetime access you get to watch me trade live every single day and right now we are running our biggest sell and that's 150 dollars off and by signing up today you also earn 5,000 automatic entries towards our gtr giveaway so i appreciate your time like always let's make sure that we end the year on our green now take it easy team